In many games, especially in 2D puzzles, the player can see a line that represents the bullet trajectory before shooting. This mechanic is used for example in Puzzle Bubble, Tank Wars, Peggle and many more. It is commonly used for power-ups or tutorial levels. Today we will recreate this effect on Unity. The trajectory estimation can be done in many ways. This depends on the precision that we need to achieve and how much computing power we have. For this project, we want to treat this topic as a simulation. This allows us to be very specific in the estimation. In Unity, to create a simulation, you need to use a dedicated physics scene. This will be our physics simulation space. Also, we had to disable the auto simulation of physics because we want to control it manually. To be more specific, we want to handle only the predictions in physics. So, since we had the two different scenes at the same time, we simulated the current scene physics at the normal step in the fixed update. This means that for the main scene, we don't have any differences about physics. To perform the actual simulation, we had to do two things. We created a copy of the object that we want to shoot, and we used the shooting force on it. Then we defined a max iterations number, and for each iteration, we called the simulate method. After each iteration, we were able to use the updated transform of the dummy object. With this transform, we created a new point for the line renderer that we used to plot the trajectory. Obviously, more iteration we perform and more information we can collect from the simulation. On the other hand, more iterations means less performance. We had to choose the correct approach for our project. We could either add use a lot of iterations on demand or fewer iterations continuously. We opted for the second choice. In order to test the reliability of the trajectory, we introduced some custom objects that add another force to the ball when it. At the beginning of the game, we need to clone these objects to account for their behavior in the simulation. In the end, we added some polish and created a random level system. This is the final result. Tell us what you think about this effect in a comment below. Maybe we could also expand the simulation concept and go deeper. For instance, with compute shaders if you are interested. Don't forget to subscribe, smash the like button and follow us on the other socials. See you next time. Cheers!